What's going on guys, it's Alex from PenPath with a quick tip on one of the biggest mistakes or hurdles or challenges, whatever you want to call it, that most e-commerce uh, decision makers make. And that is when to understand the more detailed metrics and when to just look at the, the bigger picture metrics. Um, so, you know, it's debatable which ones are detailed and which ones are bigger picture. Typically, you're going to get detailed metrics are the ones that are more commonly used, like impressions, clicks, uh, time on site, right? Those types of metrics. And then the, the more broader ones are like CAC LTV ratio, uh, revenue, LTV, you know, those are the ones that are a bigger picture. So whenever, you know, my tip for you, and this is a common mistake we see, is whenever you're communicating information using data, um, a lot of times save the more detailed metrics for the people doing the managing, so the agency or the managers of the marketing managers and of course higher level metrics for the executives but the secret is is to always have a full story on how the the more detailed exploratory metrics are having an impact on the larger metrics and um, the more complete and buttoned up you can create your story the better uh, you're going to communicate that and so I'm gonna give you two action items to do and see if these are helpful um, first action item is write your top five metrics uh, that you care about right and in order of one through through five in order of importance right so you're gonna have to make some hard decisions right ltv or aov or you know and it, it might depend on your business frankly so write that and, and get like three or four other people from your team to do the same thing and then compare you know how you guys are ranking them and then why somebody might have ranked a different number one than yours and and so on and so forth and then uh, the second metric, the, the second exercise that I want you to do is to try to, to tell a more complete picture in terms of how other uh, metrics are going to influence. So let's say how clicks influence ROAS or how, you know, average time on site influence ROAS in terms of the customer journey. Um, the, the reason I want you to tell a story is because every metric has a kind of a meaning uh, to it and not just the kind of what you hear impression. So impressions doesn't really mean impressions it means awareness right clicks and you know maybe comments mean engagement or sentiment so just think of it as a human not as a analyst um and that's a common mistake we see quite often that essentially has this blocker between the data and what it means to those trying to understand it or make decisions off of it so um anyways hopefully that was helpful wishing you guys luck let us know if you have any questions i'm alex with penpath and i'll talk to you later